So maybe we'll start um, start with you on on this one, uh, Paul. So how are you finding prospects responding to the current market and the noise? Just because the, the media is so loud at the moment. You know, what are what are buyers saying? Yeah. Look, um, I, I try not to get too involved with the media conversation and rhetoric. Um, look, there are there are two types of media. There's one that sells ads. Um, we're all pretty aware of that. And there's the other that, uh, that, that tries to create an unbiased factual point of view. Um, oh, look, I, you know, we all read it. Um, we all decipher it. We all make it mean something for us. Um, but one thing John pointed out, and I want to highlight that I'm seeing is um, consistent buyer behavior um, around doing your research. I think that's a fundamental. And uh, it doesn't matter what market you're in. Um, you've got to do your research, right? You've got to be convinced. You've got to find trusted advisors where you can get that fact from. Um, you know, it's it's clear to say that headlines sell papers, but we've just got to be a little cautious around that. But what I am seeing on the buyer behaviour front is um, is what I call a series of reliefs. Um, I think people just look for those reliefs, whether it's stopping at their local coffee shop or, you know, being able to engage with friends or, you know, but there's, a, there's a lot to be said, said about word of mouth. And, uh, and lately, I think that word of mouth concept has changed. And uh, often we get our validation from, you know, maybe the local coffee shop, the pub, the bistro, the bowls club, the footy club. Uh, and we haven't been getting those. So um, the, only, the only substitute, I guess, is, is, the, is the TV and, uh, and the media. So look, um, I don't buy into it. Um, I'm always researching the fundamentals. And uh, look, I have seen some pretty scary things on the headlines, but um, you know, again, I'd recommend do your research. Um, usually uh, companies like CoreLogic are pretty, uh, pretty consistent with their message. Um, they, uh, they tend to have the facts and the data and, uh, and give it more of a balanced perspective. So um, at the end of the day, everyone needs to live in a house of some variety or some type and um and that ain't going away um that is a, a natural human need yeah i mean it comes out of population growth as well right which you know mm -hmm. say. what's your view on that john uh, i I, yeah. I think paul's hit it on the head there you know it's at the end of the day we've all got to live somewhere um and i can't see any alternative form of housing that's being developed that doesn't require people to live in apartments townhouses or homes I can't see that we're going to move to another uh, planet in, in the short term. So, you know, life will go on. The population growth is increasing. Interest rates are low. You know, we sell off the plan projects um, that generally take, you know, 18 months to three years. Uh, is the market going to be better in two years when they settle? My view is yes. Um, yeah. Is there going to be more people living in Australia? Yes. Uh, is the economy going to be better than it is today? Yes. Um, are there some incredible deals out there at the moment because of the current situation? Yes. Yeah. 